What's going on everybody? We got uh, I got the latest 10.3 uh, installed here on my BlackBerry Q10. Just want to show off a little bit uh, what this OS is like here. And this is, from my understanding, um, a, a close to to launch version as possible at this very moment. Um, so I'm just going to kind of show you a little bit about some of the cool features or newer features uh, in 10.3. I'm going to kind of go over all of it. Uh, I know I've done a video in the past about the 10.3 Alpha that was out. And I kind of want to just show a little bit more of uh, overall what this OS is going to, what it's going to be like. So obviously you look in the hub here, you're already seeing um, some of the adjustments, you know, in terms of the bottom there. You got the compose that's nice and blue on there. Everything's nice and smooth of this build. Also, if you, you notice there when I was moving moving the hub up a little bit, uh, or sorry, I should say down, the bottom bar goes away, so the attachments and search goes away. I think it's a neat feature because it gives you more real estate. You get to see a little bit more within the OS itself. And I wish I could show you the setup because the setup is also changed on the OS. Uh, so when you first install uh, BlackBerry 10.3, uh, with a fresh install, you'll see the setup screen has been changed quite a bit from the past OS uh, versions. So that's really what the hub looks like right now. Um, I, I love it. I love the nice, clean OS look. Another thing that's neat within the OS, obviously, is you'll actually be able to have active frames stay um, active. Yeah. So uh, as you can see here, I have these apps currently active running in the background on my phone. And then when you swipe over to the right, you're going to have your icons on the screen. Now, another cool thing that BlackBerry 10.3 um, gives you here is the fact that there's smaller icons, at least on the Q10. Now, I don't know how the Z10 is or the Z30, but as of right now, Q10, you get more real estate um, for icons on there. It looks like they made an, an additional row, which I love because in my problem I had with the Q10 was I came from the Z10 and I had just so many... Uh, so many apps I like to use frequently that I had to, you know, swipe over, which isn't a big inconvenience, but it's, you know, it's something that it was nice to see BlackBerry actually adjust. You also see on here, there are new icons, and pre-installed on 10.3 is the Amazon App Store. Uh, this is pre-installed. I did not go ahead and search for this separately. This is all ready to go here, so, um, you know, I have not really tested much out with the App Store. It is a native uh, a uh, Android app. It is not native to BlackBerry. Hopefully BlackBerry will launch a native Amazon app. Unlikely, but you never know. Uh, my favorite app still for uh, Android stuff, if I want, is Snap. Snap is amazing. It's available on pr prior uh, OS's. I believe 10.2 is where it has, has to start at. But I like Snap more, and Snap's coming out with a new update down the road here too, which will make it a very nice and clean look, similar to what uh, BlackBerry 10.3 is. Also here, looking at the active frames, you'll see in the bottom bars, it has a calendar, and it has the X next to it. That's also changed a little bit. It used to be black. Now that is uh, white, which I like. Also, you'll notice on the icons on the screen, there's no longer that border uh, in the background of each icon. That is now gone, along with those nice, new, clean... Uh, I, um, icons, which I which I love a lot. Jumping into the music app here, uh, there's been some adjustments with the music app. One of the big things, and uh, that I think a lot of people are gonna like, is the fact that you can now. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, equalizer! There we go. So you can actually now, if, if you listen to songs, sometimes it's bad. They just weren't all like that. Better act right, cause yeah. I smack oh. dice, give them blow and a bit of that bagpipe. Pipe. Bitch wanna live that rap life, but I already hit that last night. Think fuck with me, huh? Must be hitting that crack pipe. I've been making my money. But uh, you know, that's how it is right now. Another cool thing is the camera app. So we'll go ahead and launch up the camera app here. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put it towards my uh, blue snowball um, mic there. So you'll see. With the, uh, gives you a big old tap, look, tap to capture button. So it actually changed a little bit too as well. Um, in the past, it used to be that you could tap anywhere on the screen. Now there's actually a dedicated uh, taking picture button, I guess you can call it, or camera button. But some of the cool things that's added into, uh, into the 10.3 is this here cool panorama. 
So, you know, those people who like to have a 360 view of where they are, this is a great feature built into uh, 10.3, so you don't need that, that native uh, the native app anymore. Other than that, I believe everything else is pretty much the same uh, with this OS version. I'm trying to look at anything changed here, and I don't notice anything on the blue. So, for the most part, it's a nice, clean OS-looking um, uh, camera there. We'll go ahead and look at the next uh, features here, which is in the pictures. The pictures is kind of cool. Um, it looks like they don't have it no more. Oh, there it is. So you can actually use a story maker that's already built in 10.3, and it will actually create pitch, uh, um, like a slideshow of recent stuff going on in your on your on your phone in terms of the picture you take. So I think that's, that's kind of neat there. Um, so instead of you, what's this all about? Okay, uh, instead of you, you know, creating one, it will actually do it for you. Other than that, uh, the Pictures app has stayed fairly, uh, fairly the same. Looking in the browser here, not much of change in the browser. But I am going to type a little bit here because I want to show you the icon that's changed here. Uh, so you see the the uh, select icon has changed a little bit. Um, I like the new look to it. It's a little easier to navigate with, as everyone has complained in the past OSs that um, the icon just it's just been difficult to use on the touch screen. Everyone's still used to that trackpad, um, so it's nice to see BlackBerry address that to a much cleaner, neat icon. Um, looking into, let's take a look here at a couple things in the settings. In the settings, you're going to notice data management. So for people who uh, who are on a tight data limit with their with their service plan or circuit service package, here you can actually see exactly how much has has actually been used, and you can actually customize it to a limit, and it will notify you when you hit that limit. So that's a neat feature. I know there's a couple apps in BlackBerry World that give you similar ability, but there was since. Uh, there was no active frame type thing where it was running in the background. You always had to have that app launched. So with going back to this active frame thing here, if you actually, um, if you actually restart your computer, or sorry, restart your phone, you're actually going to see uh, those those apps launch again by themselves. So I think that's a it's a really cool feature to have that. Um, for people who frequently restart their phone or turn it off a lot at night or however it be, uh, you, you still have access to getting those apps to launch without you having to launch them all the time. It's not a big inconvenience, um, but it's just, it's just nice to have uh, on the phone itself with this new version. I'm trying to actually uh, launch something up here because I want to show you, if I can, the improved call screen a little bit. So I'm going to see if I can call myself, uh, see if it works like I want it to. Alright, let's see if I can get my phone to ring now. Sorry for the delay here. I'm not all that prepared, I guess, for this part, but I'm trying to give myself a call. It doesn't seem like it's wanting to call me. So it looks like I might not be able to show that off. Uh, I really want to show it off. There's a new interface for the call screen, uh, which which I think is neat. Um, unfortunately, I just cannot make it work today. I'm trying to use my Google Voice to to call, but it just doesn't want to call. So. Unfortunately, I cannot show you that. So that's that's a neat new screen it has uh, going with it as well. But uh, unfortunately, I just can't show you that one today. Everything else, though, is is very similar. Uh, the clock app or uh, the the uh, alarm clock, uh, it's working just fine. Uh, I know in the previous versions there were problems with the alarm clock not working, but the alarm clock is definitely working here. I'm going to actually open up a text message here. And the reason why I'm opening up this text message here, actually, let's see if I can find another one here. Let's use this one here. 
The reason why I'm going to open up this text message is you actually see there's adjustments made with the text message app itself. You'll see there's the smiley face, the attachments, and the send button. So, and it's got a nice clean look to it as well as, well as consistent with the OS. Um, so I, I like that adjustment as well. Gives you quick access to everything. Um, one thing that's been uh, I see that's different as well is and it's not showing up right now, but it looks like the icons in terms of the red and, and delivered are also um, they're also different as well. There's looks like there's smaller icons, and I don't remember the green button there or the green check mark circle in previous OSs as well. Um, so correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that is new as well, and that's just a standard SMS uh, message. Uh, BBM is uh, is the same still, nothing really changed with that um, that I'm aware of. Um, so that's you know it's BBM, which I love. Um, I be BBM Messenger uh, or BlackBerry Messenger, I should call it BBM Messenger. Um, other than that, everything else seems to be fairly similar to what it was. So there's nothing really special to show off with that stuff there. But hey, you know, 10.3 is around the corner. I'm sure they're going to have a few more surprises in there. Uh, the um, BlackBerry Blend is in there. does not work. Assistant, the voice assistant uh, app is, is working now. I guess I can show you that real quick. Um, Facebook status. Honey, I'm home. Something to say. I couldn't think of nothing to say. But, um, yeah, so the uh, Assistant app is really neat. Um, look here at the actual things you can change to it. Um, knowledge base is kind of cool. Let's see if we can think of a question here. Um, what year did Microsoft start? Don't ask me why it chose Microsoft. The answer is May 2nd, 1991. There you have it. When did Steve Jobs die? Where is BlackBerry located? Let's see if he figures this one out. Didn't quite work the way I wanted it to work, but... Who runs BlackBerry? So not a whole lot of information there, but the assistant app's kind of neat. I think it's going to be a, a comparative towards Siri and uh, whatever the Google one's called. I can't think off the top of my head here, but uh, that, you know I'm not a I don't use that stuff a lot. Uh, to me, it's more of a gimmick. But if they can find a way to make it really work within the OS, um, you know I think people will use it more and more. It's actually at work the other day, and and someone was using their Siri one there, and it kept on. Um, providing them for false information or incorrect information. Um, so it, it just shows that even Siri, which Apple really pushes hard, uh, is still not as good as it could be. Um, and Google, you know, I'm guessing they're not as good either with, uh, with what they're running there. But, you know, hey, that's 10.3 BlackBerry right there. It's, uh, it's awesome running on the Q10, not the Z10 by any means. You'll notice, obviously, the screen is much smaller. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's a great OS. It's, it does its job um, very, very well. Um, it's a very smooth, clean OS. And, uh, you know, lock screen is very similar as well. But, uh, yeah, it's a very clean, smooth OS. I love it so far. Happy I have it. Uh, if you have a chance, you know, you can go ahead and download the leak uh, version. You can head up to uh, n4bb.com, search for it on there, or crackberry.com has it on there as well. So, uh, those two sites I do know have it for sure. Uh, all the loaders are available, so really all you have to do is back up your phone so you have your your content, and then you download the file, double-click on the executable file, and it will connect to your BlackBerry if there's a password, you'll enter that in, 
and then it will automatically uh, install the new OS, wiping all your previous information off there. So that's why I say back up the information. For me, I use uh, I use um, I use Google a lot. For I use Gmail, I should say. So my, all my contacts and stuff are, are, are synced that way. But uh, stuff like that's in your Remember app, or even notes you might have on there on your on your phone with uh, Docs to Go or something. You know, you might want to make sure those are backed up as well. So yeah, t check out uh, 10.3 if you want it now, or wait till it launches. Uh, from my understanding, uh, it will be launching with the Passport, and then shortly coming out for the Q10, Z10, and uh, Z30 down the road after that, uh, which I'm excited for the Passport. I was going to go after the Classic, but it looks like things have changed, and that Passport's really impressed me. So I might have to get used to a much, much bigger phone compared to that Q10. But hey. Uh, if you like the video, subscribe, please like it, share it. Uh, it'd be great for me and then for other BlackBerry users out there who want to know more about the OS.